uh, Blue Angels are some, they're, uh, an organization I looked up to uh, from a very young age. Uh, I would say they, they definitely contributed to uh, inspiring me to be, a, to be an aviator. Uh, and I take great pride in that and trying to uh, kind of pass that along and hopefully provide that, uh, that spark to some young Americans uh, throughout all, all across the country. Um, well, originally my grandfather uh, was, a, was an aviator um, just after World War II uh, during the Korean conflict. I was exposed to it at a very early age, um, just going to air shows and learning about uh, aviation and uh, uh, early on had a, uh, had a knack for history uh, and it just wanted me to serve, or, uh, drove me to serve my country and I want to do that via uh, flying jets. Well, the biggest thing that people don't always get to see is the tremendous amount of teamwork and effort that goes into maintaining these beautiful jets behind me. Uh, we have uh, about 100 uh, enlisted personnel that work tirelessly night and day. They, each one of them is handpicked from over 700,000 uh, active duty and uh, reserve uh, Navy and Marine Corps personnel. Uh, they represent the best uh, of the Navy and the Marine Corps um, to work to get these jets up every day, six jets, multiple times a day, so we can put on this, uh, uh, this precise uh, flight demonstration. We started back in November. Um, a fresh group of guys came in along with the second and third year guys that are on the team. And it took us from November probably until about mid-January to start flowing the way that we need to flow for an air show season. But um, yeah, I would say probably two and a half, three months um, of preparation just to get to where we need to be. And it's exciting. <laughs> I'm super excited. I, um, yeah, I mean, we've had a, a bunch of practice air shows, but um, it's, it's gonna be a lot different for me being my first time on the other side of the fence. You know, I've watched plenty of air shows from behind the, behind the fence over here with the crowd. But, um, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to being on this side of it. I got here in January. It was my first time ever, ever in El Centro, actually. Yeah, so far, how do you like it? I like El Centro. Good restaurants, good food.